Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a quick fix on an issue that I had with this truck. And uh, this happens randomly. It's working fine. And then for whatever reason, it stalls out, it dies randomly while 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 the engine is on while it's driving uh particularly when it's going around slowly going, going around um corners it's got you know a whole bunch of electrical problems when it happens the light flickers etc etc and and apparently this is a huge issue with um with this truck all right, and if you guys have this problem, um, you probably would suspect that it's the alternator that's causing the issue because it's dying on the road. But the the the, the difference with this is, um, this is how you know it's not the alternator because if it's the alternator, what happens is. You know, you'd have to jump it and it turns on and then you take the cables off and it, it'll just die out on you. However, in this situation, it, that's not quite um, this situation, all right? In this situation, if you take the keys out, obviously, if it dies out on you while on your road, it's a safety hazard. It's kind of dangerous. So if you guys are in this situation, you guys want to definitely... Make sure, well, you know, like if you're in the middle of the middle lane on the highway and this happens to you, hopefully it doesn't. A lot of times this will happen when it's it's going a lot slower, making turns, etc., etc. Um, but if it if this does happen to you on the freeway, hopefully you're on one closer to one of the shoulder lanes so that you could just pull over because this is a really this is not just a, a an electrical issue this is a, a safety issue because uh, you're gonna have these situations where it just dies out on you while you're driving not you know so it's it's it's, it's a safety issue and and a lot of the fixes for on this you know it goes anywhere from alternator to a whole bunch of other things that could cause it however here's how you know it's not the alternator because once it starts out on you just you know once you park it put it in park take the key out put the key back in try to start it it'll start back up as if nothing happened at all as if nothing happened at all so if you guys run into this issue and this is a big big uh, issue with the trucks from these years from from this year uh, here's what you guys are gonna do all right and this is this is probably like this the, the the reason why it happens it's not the battery it's not the alternator it's not the engine um here's here's what's causing it okay the ground wire the ground wire is a negative wire on the battery that connects to the frame Apparently, for whatever reason, uh, on GM vehicles has so many issues on so many. They don't, and probably, probably know why the reason is because they make a ton of money having you bring your truck, your car in to to get it to to have them figure out what the problem is. Diagnosis is at least close to two hundred. And then the fixes will run you in the thousands or whatever they, you know, whatever these dealerships tell you 
uh, what's causing it. And sometimes they're gonna pretend like they don't know and then you bring it in uh, a couple more times. And so many times I've heard that these dealerships don't know what's causing it. Or uh, they'll tell you that it's not, they can't re, re, uh, reproduce the, the issue. All right, but here's 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 the thing. All right, if you have a if you had a good running truck, there's no other issues besides this issue. Um, what you guys want to look for is the ground wire. All right, a lot of times the 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 connector to the frame of 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 the truck connected to the frame of the truck you know uh you're gonna it, it, this rust there's corrosion there's dirt there's whatever that gets under uh under it <clears throat> and it and and that's not just uh that's not just the problem okay one of the main problem is that a lot of GM trucks and vehicles, they don't, they don't, um, they don't make the contacts, the surface area in the contacts, they don't make it as, the area as big as possible, right? This, they'll paint around it, and the only contacts, a lot of times what you have is, you have paint around it, and the only contact is the boat, the, the surface of the boat, uh, to the the, uh, the internal threads of the frame where the bolt threads into the frame screws into the frame all right and that's a lot of times that might be enough when the car when, when the truck is new and there's no corrosion there's no rust etc etc but once you have it for a couple years what happens is rust starts building up on it and corrosion dirt or whatever have you and that surface area you know it, it sometimes is not enough for uh for the electrical connection all right for this to, for it's not adequate enough for the electrical connection so you're gonna get very anemic currents going through your electrical system and because you're getting anemic currents going through your electrical system you're going to get anemic electrical electricity going through uh going to your battery going to your car's computer the ecm the ecu the transmission control module tcm you know um and 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 even though a lot of times uh even though a lot of times if it's just if it's if that's just the issue you would get no 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 start issue all right but it's 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 a lot more technically the problem is a lot more technically connected because so many things are now connected to the battery all your sensors are connected to the battery your car's computer is connected to the battery and obviously your alternator is connected to your battery and you know if if you're getting an anemic connection to the battery there's a chance chances are your battery is not going to be um charging up correctly and it might get an anemic charge to the point where where okay so even if your alternator in this situation is putting out the currents that it's putting out you know there's a chance that you know that bad ground connection it's going to cause an anemic charging of the battery not only is it going to charge connection connection of the battery it's going to you know once the battery drains you know to a very very low current it's not gonna it's not gonna register enough power sometimes it's not gonna register enough power even if the alternator is on that that the ECU cross computer is reading that every the whole system is okay the charging system is okay etc etc all right so if you guys are in this situation what you guys want to do is you guys really want to take the boats off the frame 
all right take the bolt off the frame unscrew it take the bolt off the frame you're gonna clean it you're gonna use a metal brush you're gonna use sandpaper you're gonna make sure that the paint is off in any connection uh, where the bolt is to the frame you want to make sure that the paint is scraped off either from the wire brush or from the sandpaper you're gonna do that to the bolt you're gonna do that to the connector itself the ground connector and once you do that put it back in and there is a good 90% chance or even a 99% chance if this is uh, your problem if, if this is your only issue that you're having that it would resolve your issue because this is a well-known issue uh, within uh, within the, the trucks of not just these years but but, but of previous years all right so really really important um, that you guys um, if you guys have this issue just for safety concerns you might want to just do that just to just to just to solve that issue but Anyway, I hope this has helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff, right, guys. Take care.